All right, game two of the Altitude Team Liquid StarCraft II Open Finals is about to begin. Select the Terran player just one versus Strelok in a very good back-and-forth game on Lost Temple. And now we'll see if Strelok can bring it back on what would have been his map choice because he did lose, and loser picks the map. It's going to be Blistering Sands. Um, and let's go right into the countdown here of our second game. Here we go, Chill. Five, four, three, two, one go and we are live chill take it away and this is game two of the altitude team liquid starcraft 2 open we have uh mouse straylock picking this map blistering sands sand spawning spawning as the blue terran in the top right and we have select the korean american as red in the bottom left and look at this oh. straylock picking this map because he has a strategy oh yeah first scv going out uh it's gonna be interesting to see what it is there's I believe Select took out Noni in Terran vs. Protoss with a Marine SCV all in. So it'll be interesting to see if Strelok does a Marine SCV or any sort of Reaper play. But here goes the 8 racks. Now let's take a look at the gas of Strelok. If he puts down the 8 refinery, it's going to be Reapers. If not, it's going to be Marines. All right, we'll find out very shortly. And, uh, you know, the one of the things about this is if you're not scouting at the exact same time, it's going to take you a while before you see that. But even more crucial is the fact that when he does decide to go ahead and scout, a lot of players aren't just like, oh, let me just go check over here for any sort of, like, proxy thing going on. He's just going to check in the back in case anyone snuck in and no one's back there. Uh, but likely you're just going to directly go to the base. Now, if he hits up the uh, close Zelnaga, maybe he'll have some sort of idea. But the barracks is up, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see what actually happens here. So let's find out. Select. He's yeah. checking right there. This is a really nervous time because Select looks like he thinks something might be going on. He's really scouting all the all the oh typical proxy locations, but not going to scout this. And that SCV scout from Straylock is at the normal timing. Exactly. So he's probably not going to feel like anything's out of the ordinary. Straylock actually getting an orbital command so he can drop those mules. And wow, first Reaper coming in. Is he going to try to bunker? It looks like the SCV of Select is following the SCV of Straylock, so there's not an opportunity to bunker yet. First oh. Reaper on the way. Now Select has scouted that there's nothing in the bait base, yeah. so he knows it's coming. And this is going to come down to Micro. He's going to have to control perfectly to defend this Reaper. Oh, uh, that is also like the worst feeling in the world. Your SCV or yeah. your worker goes in there and you're like, crap, because I know this guy doesn't suck. So something crazy is going on. <laughs> He's going to use the ledges here over to make a quick route to the base uh, of Select. And Select's going to have to hold this off with just a single Marine. Second one coming out. He's going to pull off the SCVs, but he's going to be able to micro those pretty good. Doesn't take down the first SCV. There it goes down, and he is going to drop that bunk just outside of the barracks right there and we got just the marines queued right here and we're gonna have to see uh, how good this micro is gonna be as uh, one more shot from that marine and the second uh, reaper should be coming there it is right there and the SCV is gonna move back now he did stop production of that bunker which is gonna be crucial um, and he's just gonna go ahead and uh -oh. cancel it excellent work blocking with those scvs and able to micro those uh those reapers so i really like what i'm seeing here we got uh, no now marauders coming out of there and what? they will come to back up i like this chill this is yummy yeah i really like this too you can send in the marauder take a lot of hits from the marines and use just the reapers huge damage in the back very difficult army to control but if he does it well it's gonna be so nice first reaper just flies in and gets taken out second reaper Oh my god, it's so close, and the Marauder coming in now. He's got to get that Reaper in to snipe the Marines. Oh, oh my god, Strelok falling apart at the seams. That was such a nice build, but just completely, oh. completely shut down by the control of Select. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, it was just, uh, it was just, that was bad. That was bad. That Reaper got a little bit too anxious. He's like, I'm going to kill someone, I'm going to kill someone, I'm going to kill someone. And then he just walked into <laughs> the rifle. Uh, I mean, as he could have just put his mouth around the, the nozzle of that rifle, and that would have been at the barrel. Uh, so these two Marines, are, or excuse me, two Marauders now just rallied to the ramp. Uh, and this bunker is going down. Smart move. He's going to try to go ahead and get as much damage as he possibly can. Great job taking out those STVs, microing well, and uh, going to try to keep this one alive, but he can't, and now he's going to take out. Good job watching the health bar of that one Marine. Second Marauder's going to come in, and uh, oh, oh, yeah, shells just hit two, and uh, he has no one in this barracks. That first Marine is going to get in, and so despite the fact that he's held this off, Select is really clawing out of the hole that... Uh, 
that, that Strelock put himself in. Now, the other thing that's interesting is how well can you adjust or, you know, dynamically change if you go for this cheesy type of rush or, or build? And I don't even know that it's cheese. I just think it's an interesting strategy. Um, it was held off, and now he's got two barracks going down in the main, and he's going to send these Marauders to take out these back rocks. Right, and the, those rocks go down so quickly to Marauders. We see uh, Strelok has actually transitioned out of this. He's got a fair number of SCVs mining in his main. He's getting a third barracks, and he's actually getting stim. I feel like uh, Select has the tech lab, and he's, I think he's going straight for Banshees. If you're getting cheesed with any sort of Marauder Reaper build, and you get a single Banshee out, you feel so comfortable because, you know, none of those units hit air. So if he gets that Banshee out, it's going to be so hard for Strelok to re A, realize that it's coming, and B, shut it down. Looks like he's just in the Marauder mindset. And Select only has a few Marines here getting the bunker up, but that's going to go down. Even though there's Marines in the bunker, it's going to go down so quickly to these Marauders. The back door is open. Here we go. Taking out the SC, or taking out the supply depot. That's going to supply block Select. So now he can't make anything. Ouch. Has he started? Yes, he has one Banshee coming. The timing window for, uh, for Strelok is shutting rapidly. He really needs to let Stim finish. Stim and get in there and do work. I, I absolutely uh, agree. He continues to use this forward barracks to pump more marauders. And looking at the income tab, it, it does not seem like Strelik is that interested in getting any higher than what he's at. I mean, he's dropping his mules, and uh, you know, but he's staying at 14 harvesters. And here we go. More marauders coming in through the back. They're going to stop another supply depot from going down. I think that one was actually killed. And so he's going to quickly take out this bunker. Marines inside will uh, not live to see another day. Another supply depot going in, and that was big taking down those rocks in the back. It's really hard to defend both areas. And look at this. He's going to go ahead and move all his SCVs. Expect this thing with this SCV. Well, I, I thought he was going to go ahead and lift it. There it is. Cancel lift so he can move that over. But, man, how is he going to deal with those marauders? These SCVs are just sitting here, and I completely expect a GG as it's... Oh, my God! The Banshee pops! And now the <laughs> Banshee is just going to chase after these guys. And maybe, just maybe, Select is going to be able to do something here. Look at the main of, of Strelok, actually. Select had the oh mind to send his first Banshee into the main of... Oh my god, getting hit by Marines! He can't let that happen. Strelok is like not even mining at this point. He's gotta kill these two Marines, select us. Oh my god! Okay, he kills the two, there's two more! Oh my god, the Banshee! Oh, it's so close. Strelok going back into the main of select, killing so many SCVs. Did the Banshee get taken out? No, the Banshee's still alive over here. No research being done for select. Oh my god, these Marauders are killing so much in the main base of select, but it looks like he's defended this. He's still got the Banshee in the main of, of Strelok. He had the presence of mind to send the first Banshee over to kill Strelok's SCVs. He knew he would have the second one in time to defend against the Marauders and then just lifted off his command center, saved his SCVs. Very, very nice play by Select to, to basically turn this game on its head. And now wow. he's, he's got a, a dominant lead here. Yeah, okay, watch out. This Banshee, no. Oh, watch out. He's going to be able to take out one Marine. He'll take out the second one. Good, but he did take a lot of damage. However, uh, Strelik is so strapped for cash right now. He's like in between paychecks that he's not going to be bringing <laughs> out a whole lot of units. He's got these two Marines that are still here watching the line, but what's going to happen is this Banshee is going to come in from the front and get the first hits in, and they will distract him, and then the other one will come in and just start taking out oh, and every so SCV that, lost at this, uh, that is lost at this point. is just horrible. There we see these Marines stimming going, you're not going to get away from us this time, and they do manage to get it, but then we've got the dual-pronged oh, attack, and the... Oh, oh, it gets taken out, but you I, know what? Again, look at the amount of workers that we have here. Six here for the 16. So those Marauders did a huge, huge amount of damage. Look at Select has an army that can... Oh, man, I just don't know. I mean, it is like these guys are just fighting with peanuts at this point. And he's going to get these units to get blocked off early. And, uh, oh, Strelok has to say wow. GG. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. What a heart-stopping game. I can't believe Select, A, held that off, B, held off the second attack, and then turned the game around. Wow. That was very, you know what? That's exactly how I kind of felt watching that one PvP to gate rush on metal <laughs> you know the yeah. same sort of thing it's like man he's gonna have to be perfection in order to stop this and and the biggest thing that i saw was just a lack of panic 
you know, pull those SCVs, yeah. get the damage, you know, stop the instant threat that we've got. And, um, you know, I, I mean, I just think of myself as a player and I just be like, God, I'd be crumbling at that point. <laughs> and that's why I love these games, uh, because uh, it's just remarkable, remarkable play. So that means select is up two games over Strelik. Right? Come back time. It is. This is the time. This is the rally cap time. So yep. I'm marking it down. Let's uh, let's do this, Strela. 